Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with another knife review, this time of the Curtis F3 Compact. Uh, I picked this up at Blade Show last weekend, directly from Dave Curtis, uh, and if you haven't seen it, head over to Through My Lens and check out my photo report on Blade Show 2014. Fantastic show, I've got a lot of photos, and really try to give you a what it was like to be there kind of perspective in the report. So, so do check that out if you haven't already. Uh, but uh, I was able to pick up this F3 Compact from Dave at the show. And uh, here's, the, here's the packaging uh, that it comes in, this little tin. And he does include a, a nice uh, polishing cloth in that. And uh, I'm not sure if he normally includes this with the package or not, but I did get this uh, nifty Curtis Knives patch from him, Velcro patch, that's going on my uh, range bag. For, for when I go to the gun range. Uh, I first came to really know the, about the, the Curtis F3 Compact from my buddy Jesse. He's a local knife enthusiast, and we had lunch, and he brought his, and I checked it out, and I was really amazed by, you know, the, uh, the fit and the finish uh, of, the, of the knife. Of course, F3 stands for Form, Fit, Finish. Uh, was also amazed by the, uh, by the flipping action. Beautiful knife, beautiful knife. Um, so that got me really interested. I had known before then uh, about Dave Curtis and the Curtis F3. I just sort of assumed, you know, it was yet another custom knife maker who's, you know, probably, you know, kind of a prima donna, probably has closed books, isn't taking orders. The knives are very expensive, very hard to come by, uh, and that it's, you know, just you know, a bridge too far to try to get one. So I hadn't paid too much of attention. Uh, you know, I don't like to focus on something that I, I can't really actually have. Uh, but Jesse said, no, man, just give Dave a call. He's a hu really super nice guy. And I haven't dealt with a whole lot of nice guys in, in the knife industry, as, as is well documented on, on Through My Lens. And, you know, the, the thought that I could just call this guy and, and, and he would answer the phone was just completely foreign to me. I thought, well, I'll call, I'll get voicemail, and maybe in a couple weeks, you know, one of one of his people will call me back and, and you know, I'll beg and plead and try to get a knife. But I thought, you know, I'm, I'm heading to Blade Show. Uh, let me just call him and, and you know, see if he's going to have any knives there that I can somehow possibly buy called and sure enough Dave picked up the phone super nice guy super nice guy and you know I introduced myself and I said hey I'm coming to Blade show uh really would like a F3 compact I'm guessing I'm going to have to go through some survivor like lottery contest to try to you know just have the the right to buy one as is the case with many custom knife makers at Blade show he's like no man so here's what I've got. I've got several examples. You know, why don't I hold one aside for you? And I was blown away that he would actually do that for me. Super, super nice guy. And again, meeting him at Blade Show was just a wonderful experience. Uh, his wife, super nice lady as well. They even gave, gave me a great dinner recommendation for a while I was at Blade Show. So uh, you can't beat that. But uh, uh, one of the reasons why I picked up the F3 Compact is because there are certain situations where you do want a, a smaller knife, and particularly one that's got less than a three-inch blade. Um, you know, when, when I want to carry a somewhat smaller knife, he, here's what I tend to carry. Uh, I'll, a lot of times I'll carry this Spyderco Sage 3. Just doing some size comparisons there, or I'll carry this uh, Skyline, you know, if, if I do want to, uh, again, if I'm looking for a smaller knife that's that's less intimidating or, or you know, I'm, I'm being cognizant of, of knife laws. Uh, but, you know, these, these are great knives and all, but they're kind of boring. Um, you know, I've got a lot of other nicer knives than these, and, you know, on those days when I bring those those knives, I kind of feel like, eh, I've just kind of got a, just a run-of-the-mill knife. But this knife is special, okay? Dave does a really nice job. He is a custom knife maker. This is a custom knife, okay? This particular example is done in his diamond, diamond pattern, 
and when the light hits uh, hits that uh, a certain way, you should be able to see uh, diamond patterns uh, in in this. Uh, maybe you can see it from this angle, but you should see diamond patterns cut out when the when the light hits the facets of the of the scales just right. Of course, the clip side is in the same pattern. Really love this, and one of the one of the great things about this uh, very aggressive pattern, it's almost like an aggressive G10, um, is that it does help you get a grip on the knife. Because as you can see, I don't have a full a full purchase. My pinky's kind of hanging off here, but you know, with what you do have a ha hands on and fingers on, uh, that aggressive texture does really help. Now, if you're in this size and the compact size, I'm not going to clip this to my pocket. More more often than not, I'm I'm looking to conceal it, and uh, it'll it'll be just dropped into my pocket. If you were going to get an F3 in three and a half or four inch and did plan to to uh, clip it to your pocket, you might want to think twice about this diamond pattern finish, simply because uh, pulling it in and out of your park pocket when pocket material is rubbing between the clip and the the handle scale. I'm guessing after repeated uses, it's probably going to do some damage to the to the pocket. It's 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 pretty aggressive. But other than that, I like it a lot aesthetically. I think it's fantastic. You can see, you know, there's there's some anodization that's been applied here that kind of gives it a, some purplish blue hues. Again, depending on how the light you know hits it, you can really see anodization here uh, in the lock bar cutout. Uh, some some more blue or purple. Uh, there's also some bronze anodization on the edges, which I think is really cool. Again, it's just these little details that you know that hey, I've got a custom knife. This is something that that isn't just you know thrown out of a production line with with no no thought. Uh, so another great detail is the pocket clip. Dave does a great great job with his pocket clips very detailed an excellent pocket clip if you do want to use it um, it's kind of got his signature pattern here and I've got to talk to Dave because I sort of thought that the pocket clip was supposed to uh, mirror the pattern that's on the spot pivot here which is kind of a signature trademark of his um, a lot of people say this is this is a reticle that maybe Dave's a shooter. I, I don't know. Again, I've got to talk to him about this. But I, I sort of thought this was sort of his mirror, sort of logo, you know, his, you know, his identifying component here. This, the spot pivot. Either way, uh, it's and it's an excellent detail. Uh, this uh, this Bowler 690, uh, M690 uh, blade steel uh, blade is just gorgeous. Uh, it's mostly got a stone wash pattern with uh, brushed uh, flats on it, and I like it a lot aesthetically. The two tone look is great, and the stone wash pattern here around the blade where you'll actually cut is uh, is good. That'll it won't show wear as much. And his his knives are meant to be used, and I do intend to use this, you know, for EDC cutting types of purposes. And I don't know if you can see the the polished edge on there, but Dave puts an excellent, really sharp edge on his knives. Um, really like that a lot. Just gorgeous. Kind of has a, a, a hinderer-like spanto tip. Um, a little bit more of the backside there. Great cutting knife. Again, the all the kind of nitty-gritty details about the blade steel uh, the specs of the knife and all that you'll find in the written photo review that's on through my lens. You can find a link to the the written photo review uh, here in the description box. Do head over because I've got lots of great pictures of this knife. Um, I've been carrying it again for a week. You know, I carried it a week straight, and uh, just really, really love it. It fires fantastic. Dave has one of the best uh, flipper actions of any knife maker. Uh, an IKBS style uh, uh, bearings in, in the pivots, uh, just excellent, excellent stuff. You can see it's got a titanium backspacer here uh, that matches the tie pocket clip. 
thinking about maybe sending it to him and having some more anodization done, uh, maybe on the pivot, maybe on the, the backspacer pocket clip. I don't know. I, I like it as is uh, a whole lot too. So I'm just, I'm just not sure. But uh, I, I've liked this knife so much, I've already got a, a version in three and a half inch coming to me. So, so look for a review on that one coming real soon. Uh, can't recommend this knife enough. Can't recommend doing business with Dave Curtis enough. Super nice guy. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, more coming soon. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.